welcome to Sister Speaks Snowpiercer, where we discuss the TNT original series Snowpiercer from a sister's point of view. I'm Sister J. I'm Sister Ellen. I'm Goody Roop. <laughs> and I am Sister K, and welcome to episode number three. Let's get started. <laughs> welcome, Sister Speak Nation. We will be talking about this uh, episode three of season two titled A Great Odyssey. But before we start talking about this episode, as y'all can see, it's Ladies Night. We have special guest, Goody Roop. Hey, I am so excited. So, so, so excited. Welcome. We are excited to have you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as you know, Goody Roop, we start out before we talk about the episode with what we are sipping on, lipping on, and swagging on. Yes. And if y'all don't mind, I'm going first because I am very, uh, I hate not having any color. Yeah. On my okay. lips. I feel <laughs> naked at the moment, but I did that for a purpose, all y'all out there, because I have a new lippy, Fail, Epic Fail, Uh-oh. and I wanted to have you see me like this before I put it on. So it is a new color that I just got. It's NYX Liquid Suede. Okay. I know it's color- supposed to be that pink. I would have liked it if it was that pink. <laughs> and the color is... Um, Passion Rose. It but doesn't look even it. look, look like it. any look. color. Look at it. It, it looks, looks really pink. pink. Well, wait. Neon. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Looks, it looks neon. Okay, wait, no, y'all. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, I thought you already had it on. That's why I'm like, why no, is it so No, this is why I wanted to do it on live so you can see how crazy this is. It's wild. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> oh, shit, no. <laughs> it's no. wild. No. But I think you can pull it off in a certain no. setting. You can. I, I don't know. think this so. This is cakey. I don't know if it's showing very well on the camera. How? No, that's the wrong bright, pink for you. White pink it is. But that's when I'm looking pink. at it in the mirror, it's like, uh, it looks kind of orangey pink. I don't like that. That's too bright. It's too neon. bright. It's but neon. It's neon. <laughs> I don't it like looks it. neon. Yeah, it do. No, but <laughs> you should have known. I don't think it's... <laughs> it looks just like. <laughs> it looks just like. It, it does right. look it like does. a container. <laughs> right, I should have known. Should've LM known. Is, yeah, LM's right. So... Yes. Sorry, y'all. Mm-hmm. Doing this live. Yeah. Thanks for You're sharing. Right. That was I should have known. <laughs> I really should have known. But instead, uh, okay, the same day, down. I purchased a different NYX. They had different they had different kinds, and I was like, "Oh, I need to try this." Now, this is mm-hmm. called NYX Butter Lipstick. Ooh. And the color is ooh, what is that color? Thunderstorm. Lipstick. She's a nice girl. Oh, okay, great. now that's going to be more your like mauvey purplies. Yeah. Purple. Yeah. It's a great that's purple. better. Much better. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. better. And mm-hmm. it's so, look, butter. Now, have you. Lipstick. It is <laughs> nice. It is nice. I didn't and know Nyx had the lipstick in the butter. I thought they only had it in the gloss. I know. I that's why. I'm that. Yeah, have you tried layering the first one on top of the butter lipstick? No, excuse me, because it's like a really thick consistency. I don't know if you could tell. You can't just do a thin, just to give it a little gloss. I really like the neon. I like the neon aspect of it. I do too. You do? No. Yeah, and it's kind of trendy right now, neon. No. I'm actually going to get that one. No. What? She no. said, no. oh, yeah, that would match your nails. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, no. honey, it's called Passion Rose if you want it. <laughs> and when you do, mm-hmm. or p- mm. Pink Lust. Sorry, I think I was reading the um, French version. Pink Lust. It's got Pink Lust slash Passion Rose. That's 
to say on there. Uh huh. Okay. Well, no. I mean, I guess layered is not too bad, but okay. I just, it's not okay. So, let's anyway, move on. so my my sweat rush motherfucker. Over here. <laughs> Ain't nobody rushing your ass, but come on. For my swag, I have my. Rose gold, Sister K, cursive necklace. I have my soul sister, bracelet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My permanent swag, which right. looks so pretty amongst the little charms. <laughs> it does. And then I have my, oh, let me just turn it this way. My watch face, it's going to be upside down, which is the Sister Speak logo. Yeah. <laughs> And then for my drink, I have my beautiful. This is where we're going to be missing Sister A. Sister, I have my beautiful yeah. oh, Yeti yeah. customized Sister Speak Yeti with. Wow. Some, I don't even know what I got in there. Oh, I have some thing, <laughs> some sangria juice. That juice I was telling y'all about. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. And yeah. That is it for me. Okay. Sister J, since you were rushing, you want to go? Sure. Right? Sure. Well, I got a lippy fail that's a fail to me. What do you mean just a fail to you? Well, because y'all probably like this shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we probably will. Is it For my lippy. For we my lippy, I got wet and wild liquid catsuit. Okay. Okay. And chick got real. Look at this shit. You talk about Sheik some got real. Chic got, got real. real. Wait a minute. Is that what you have that on right now? Your lips ashy. That's what I have on now. And the only reason it don't look too it's... ashy is because <laughs> I have my Avon Glimmer Stick lip liner in chocolate. I don't think it looks ashy. I don't think so either. I like it. It's good. And the only reason not enough color payoff for her. No. No. And the only reason I put it on is because I had my beautiful maxi sweater that comes Mm. below my knees and it's pink. So, you know, I figured I couldn't wear red or something. Um, But I also would like to take an opportunity. It looks white in that light. Mm. I know, but it's pink. Okay. Take an opportunity to thank our, so to speak, uh, Lady Birdie. I have on my cuticles her coconut lime verbena cuticle mm-hmm. oil. This smells so good. And you know, we both discussed the fact that Bath and Body Works used to sell coconut verbena fragrance, mm-hmm. but they discontinued mm-hmm. it because it's my fave. So get her cuticle oil, y'all. It's it's um coconut oh, lime. It's, so good. it's loved by Verdi. Okay, that's good. Oh, for my swag, I have my Sister J in cursive and rose gold. Sister J, necklace. Thank you, Sister A. Uh, Sister K. And I have my authentic teal, teal Yeti. And in my Yeti today, (laughs) mint teal. In my Yeti today, I have some, oh man, Sister A is missing. I have some soda stream seltzer water Ooh. with my strawberry bubbly in it nice mm-hmm. oh it's really good because it's just got a little bit just a teensy bit flavor of you know strawberry the okay and of course i have my tried and true because i ha- i carry it everywhere patreon thermos with some plain water you mean you carry it everywhere around the house? Because I know you're not out in these streets. <laughs> no. In the house. I care for room to room. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, wait a minute. Instacart is my friend. Right. When's the last time you left the house, Sister J? Yeah. Uh, actually, like, got in the car and went <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, yes, not, not, go not leaving to go check the mail. <laughs> Exactly. Not going to check the mail. Actually getting in your car, buckling up, driving to a destination. Oh, at least a couple weeks. Maybe three. Oh. That's not bad. Okay. You know, I try to do that at least once a month. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm retired. (laughs) 
<laughs> anyway, that's it for me. Goody, what, what you got? Uh, well, like I said, I've got my Sunday afternoon. All the dishes are in the dishwasher, mason jar. <laughs> well, Harris Teeter ginger ale. Woo! Nice. Which, by the way, so it used to be a Kroger's, and I like Kroger way better, but you know, mm. it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I also have as much water as I hope to drink in another bigger jar. <laughs> See, there you go. That's good. See? That's very I good. Like it. And I don't usually do lip stuff, but um, when I do, it's this. So I'm wearing it. You probably can't tell because I put it on like an hour ago, but um, <laughs> it's this MAC. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the background is messing with it. Okay. There it is. Mac. That's a glass. Yeah. Put it in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's in front what of your I body. To do. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's really light. I like yeah, that. it's really light. It's just basically just glitter, like vanilla scented glitter. But it's cool. I don't usually do lipstick because mm. I make so many facial expressions, it always gets all over my teeth and my face. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good on sound you, like, though. That's not like does. a physical problem. It looks really good. It is. It does look good. Thank yeah. you. I mean, oh, and then like for a, the bling color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the bling, and this is really old, too. This, this I've had for years, this Mac. Um, it was like a special collection, Lady Gaga and Cindy. It Lopper was. Day. Yeah. Oh, you know all about it. This <laughs> Allen would know. <laughs> I loved the Dazzle Glass collection. Seriously, <laughs> oh, I wish I would have really sucked up more than I did because I'm all out. I wow. love Mac it was in general. I had a friend that worked for Mac. You know, like at the Mac counter doing makeovers and stuff for a mm -hmm. while, and he would always give me the best stuff. But, wow. Um, it's nice having yeah. a connect like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Good connect. But that one I actually bought because the proceeds proceeds go to a charity that mm. I think is pretty yeah. cool. So um, but anyway, I have some sister speak swag. I've got this beautiful <laughs> scarf disappearing into the lodge at Twin Peaks. But um, <laughs> and I didn't notice the scarf had a tag too. It mm. does. Yeah. Which I love. And really, apart from that, the only other swag or bling I got is like probably my wedding ring, which is uh, right. pretty, pink. Ooh, I love very it. pretty. Yeah, oh, it's and it's lab created pink. So pretty. <laughs> I love yeah, it. I love that. Hey, lab created is too. fine too. Cruelty <laughs> free. Yeah. Well, okay, cool. uh, and that's it. Cool. No snacks, because I figured it. No snack. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't. Snack I don't have no snack either. Yeah. Nah, we don't usually do snacks on the. Uh, not on uh, this one. The commentaries. No. All right. Okay. All right. So let's I'm get pretty in. simple. Oh. I have my LM bling. Yes. Shout out to Sister A. I am drinking my H two O in the Patreon thermos. And it is sitting on my handmade coaster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Sister Jane. Oh, you got the little kitty one out, huh? I do. Yeah. I like those, too. <laughs> and on my lippies, um, I would have been ashy with this. So it's the Sephora, one of the third one of the five I got. That looks pretty light. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and That's one of the fail ones, one, huh? Yes. So far, I'm batting three out of five fails. Oh, I have to try dang. to. Dang. Exactly. So, this is number four. I don't know the color, but you guys don't need it. Just don't get it. <laughs> but it's very, I like the mauves and the soft rose. Mm hmm. And it looks like, like on the applicator, that it would be awesome, but it is not. Uh, it's real ashy. It's it like looks so like pretty light. Or something. Yeah. It is more white than mauve. Yeah. yeah. So I put on um, a matte lippy, and this one is called Dubonnet. Ooh. And it's like Ooh. a <laughs> nice. deep burgundy. 
Oh, then it's put a, a light layer of that. I'm going to say because it doesn't look very, yeah, doesn't look very deep. So yeah, just that other really must light. really be ashy. That tells you. <laughs> that shit yes. absorbed in the color. Yes, yes. Now it absorbed. Yes, the color. it did. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. And okay. that's it for blog. Reporting okay. from Big Alice. <laughs> oh, she's still rocking with Big Alice. Hey, I'm still in the back. <laughs> You're still in the tail. Huh? I think I yeah. would want to go work for um Ruth. Yes, Ooh, hospitality. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She'd be a strict taskmaster, though. Yeah, yeah, no. but that's fine. She's I like, like I respond. I well like her to a strict boss. Yeah. Okay. Well, goody. See, seeing how this is your first time on this podcast, and yeah. even though, even though, even though this is episode three, but tell us how you felt about the whole season of episode uh, 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 of season one. How did well, you leave? Well, um, like I was telling uh, LM before the show, I was struggle watching for a few, like a handful of episodes. And to be honest, I'm still a little confused about the protagonist, the dude, his two ladies. I'm still a little confused. Layton. <laughs> yeah, about Layton's ladies. Um, but once... Ruth came in and then when you realize that Melanie has a lot more going on um I got really into it and was pulling for Layton of course you know Mm -hmm. because um he was he had the right goal in mind but I really was just impressed with the comedy that that Ruth (laughs) provides She's very good for comedy. And like the guy, the guy in the tail, like selling weed and stuff. He was kind of funny too, but yeah. yeah. I like Pike. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. Yeah, I'm back there with Pike. Yeah, too, I think. (laughs) We're drinking out of jars. Yeah. Smoking that weed, Sister J? No, I ain't smoking no weed though. (laughs) But getting them fumes if you you bail. Uh Uh-huh. Just pass it. Yeah. You're getting them fumes though. (laughs) <laughs> Catch an well i'm i'm with you goody on the confusion a little bit about um the two women for layton but we yeah. can talk about that in a minute because okay i feel like in this episode i, I was like wait what what right what, what are we talking about yeah why what's the confusion because what's the confusion? well do we want to skip there just to that scene yeah yeah. So when he goes to see her in the hospital room, car, whatever, and all of the people are leaving from the tail, first of all, they're all looking at him with a big ass side eye. That's because yeah. okay. and but I get that I get that part. Understood. Though. I understand that. Mm-hmm. Because and he sacrificed the those cars when they were doing the war, right? Yep. That's why I think yeah. it's a couple, yep. I think it's a couple of reasons. I think it's that is one. And I think also the other is the fact that now him and Zara have moved up. Oh, well, not right, only that. Okay. Josie tells him, Josie's the one in the hospital bed. Josie tells him they don't trust you anymore. And the reason they don't trust him anymore is because even though he led the revolution, but he 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 off the the last tally car, he let them die. This is yeah. this is how the people are viewing him. And they let them die. And then now he's the leader. So now he's the dictator. That's what they, they view him as. Now he's the dictator dictating what we going to do and what we not going to do. And Taylors yeah. want to be self-sufficient. You know what I mean? And yes. the Taylors really, really resent the fact that he has protected Zara because they blame Zara for killing Josie. Now Josie's alive, but still, right, but still. <laughs> she turned Josie in. She Everybody knows that. So that's the beef yeah. between them and Layton. Now, as far as the two women, and also Zara is the one that left Zara and Layton were engaged to be married before the whole snow came before the earth froze. Right. Okay. And Zara got tired of being a tailie. She wanted more for her life. So she she let them know up in the third car, night car, hey, I'm ready to do whatever. 
come up there with y'all and I want to leave this tail in. So she she went on up to the third car. That right. was her decision to leave Layton. Okay. And, and Miles and Miles so, on Miles and all of them. And so Josie So was is that the, like a breakup or was yes. it as, she okay. no, she left him. She said, Look, because yeah, they were supposed we're not to getting married, we're not getting nothing because you want to be here, uh, back here loyal to the tailies, and I don't. I want something better for my mm-hmm. life. See ya. Bye. And she went gotcha. on. That's why she, she got hooked up in that polyamorous other... relationships, yeah. right? Up right. in up in the night car. Well, when she left and everything, well, who knows how long it took? But anyway, Josie and Years. Layton hooked up. But they weren't. But uh, no, that's not right because they didn't hook up. They were well, never together true. until just now. But right. you could tell she always liked him because in that episode where exactly. they showed us. The point when um, Zara Zara left, Layton was mm-hmm. crying. He was upset and watching jo- uh, Zara walk away. Josie mm-hmm. was watching Layton. Yeah, trying to comfort Layton. Mm-hmm. He wasn't having it because he was, you know, he was in his feelings about his fiance. Exactly. And then so Josie also had a a really good relationship with Miles on Miles, and so did Layton. So came like his mama. Right. Right. So if so they kind of. But doesn't Lane know about her other relationship? Oh, yes, he does. Who, so why yeah. is he so sure this is his baby? That's what I'm saying. Right. Well, that's what you said. That yeah. ain't his baby. That's the but other Listen, dude. But, but he's are, so but, quick to claim. Because I think the timing, I think it's the timing because that guy got killed. And we don't know specifically, at least I don't remember this timeline of when that guy got killed and when she ended up being mm-hmm. pregnant. But they did sleep together, her and Layton. They did to sleep together in that room. And so right. depending on how long it took for her to find out she was prego, I guess he, that's why he's assuming it's his and she's assuming the same thing. We'll and you know what? If it comes out why or if it comes out with a little no. tinge of chocolate in it. He's, we'll he's doing out. the assuming. I, I guarantee you that bitch know. I guarantee you she knows. She knows daddy. Yeah. Of course she does. But this is the confusion I had about it because I get their relationship. So, you know, when he slept with her back in last season and then she turned in, you know, she basically was like, yeah, but still we're not going to be together Mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And she turned in um, Josie, you know, he was done with her. Then him and Josie got together, right? And then Josie yeah. got caught up by Melanie because she told on her and stuff. Okay, I get that. But now Josie was supposedly dead in, until recently. When they moved her up to that first class train, I did not understand that him and Zara were back together, like boyfriend, girlfriend, sleeping together and all that. I did not think that. I thought he was still, you know, of course, mm-hmm. protecting her because she's got his baby. In his mind, right? But I don't think they right. were together. But I don't think episode, that they are together. Well, but in this episode, when he walked into the hospital car room, and all the people were leaving, and the old old lady, whatever her name is, I can't think of yeah, her name. Yeah, I can't like, remember her name. She knows everything. Mm-hmm. And then when he went and talked to Josie, and she's like, "Well, I understand why you would be back with Zara." And I was like, "Well, is he back with her? Because I didn't. Think, I don't I think didn't so. Think he was back. Right. With her. He's just I don't protecting think so. her. He's just. But in, he's not right. with her. No. So that's where I got confused with with this, scene, right. this episode. I do not believe that they are physically back together as so as like boyfriend girlfriend. He mm-hmm. is up there simply because of the baby. And as a matter of fact, I think he let Zara know that. Yeah. When they first was when Ruth said, "Oh, a baby. That's hope." And, you know, I think he kind of let her know that. That's why Zara is saying to Josie, don't take him from me. Mm -hmm. Well, but this is the other confusing part when we get to. So this is another part that I was confused about, because then. Later, when they're trying to get everybody back in the train because of the railing and going fast up the hill and all that stuff. Oh, we just skipped a whole lot of stuff. I know, but this is his opportunity to do this. When when he goes and Zara is helping 
shepherd people, wherever she mm-hmm. shepherded him to. And he he's rushing past her to get to Josie. And she's like, oh, you're going to go stay with Josie during this. And he's like, yeah. She's like, okay, go to her. And I'm like, yeah. okay, just as an episode, he's trying to kill her ass. Because right. you want him around her, But now, you all easy breezy saying, no. oh, yeah, go to her. No, that's easy explainable it's just like when you hurt somebody's feelings and they say we're well, going and do it then you know right. that's exactly right. what that is that's, oh, how really? I, that's, how I that's exactly it. yeah oh. that's how i took that's it because I, because whether she okay. approved or not he was going to josie he was so yeah. why yeah argue so she him. didn't say anything to him like well go then well, oh, he was going anyway <laughs> <laughs> like she's lucky that he stopped enough to even have a converse, brief conversation yeah. with her. He was just breezing by, and and I think as soon as he said like, uh, "Yeah, I'm going to see Josie because she's alone," and so mm-hmm. I took her reaction as, "Oh, okay, go then." Well, oh, believe okay. me, Zara's going to try to think of something else because she just assumed since. Uh, since Ruth's reaction to the fact that, oh, she's pregnant, which who knows if she really is or not. But anyway, um, that she just assumed that that would be a way to capture Leighton and keep him with her. And it's not. All he mm-hmm. needed to know was Josie was alive and boom, there he went. And did now they do she a knows sonogram? That. They did a no. sonogram, right? I don't know. Did they? They haven't, they haven't shown it. They haven't shown that. Oh, maybe I dreamed that. It, it's just her <laughs> saying I'm pregnant. That's it's what I'm show. saying. Who knows if it's even real? Well, I'm assuming the doctor would know. Maybe yeah. I don't know. They haven't I shown us know. anything like her going to the doctor. Yeah, I don't know. Taking the test or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But it has to have been at least a couple of months have gone by for her to even know she's prego, right? Well, yeah. Well, let's so, start at the beginning with Mr. Wilford doing the announcements on Big I, Alice. I love that, though. I did, too. But I liked it because he gave us some really good information. He said it had been, I wrote it down, it had been 2,468 days from departure yeah. And three days since reconnection. Mm. That's some good information. I thought, okay. Well, we already mm-hmm. knew it'd been eight, seven, eight years. So that well, no, but, but I'm just saying for him to say that in his announcements to the people of Big Alice, because at first well, but- I thought, Wait a minute, could everybody hear that? But no, what that was I just liked on about Big Alice. his speech was at the very beginning when he's talking about, we all know what's going to happen. Yeah. We're going to die. But then he said, in this line, I thought was so good. He said, but what's an old white man supposed to do when he knows his, <laughs> when he, when all it, what did he say? What's an old white man to when do he with a lifetime of knowledge? It, it's subject to erasure. Be over. Yeah. No, he said erasure. Like it's going to be erased. Wait, That's that what he down. said. Oh, I thought. But what's an old white man to do with a lifetime of knowledge doomed to erasure? Except wield it like a so word. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> That's what he's saying. And then he goes on and talks about. <laughs> I don't like and him. I was like, <laughs> well, but you're not supposed to, though. Right. I mean, and, and, you know, when he said that, though, and just the way he was acting like at the beginning before they start the credits and everything, I, I thought back to Zombie Scotty, and, and, and I agree with Zombie Scotty's comment in that if they don't give him some kind of redeeming qualities, he's just going to be like a cartoon figure, right. like a flat cartoon figure, you know? Right. So they're going to, they're going to have feel- to. I feel like it's exactly. kind of like Melanie at first. We thought that she was, you know, at the very beginning, all mm-hmm. we saw of her yes. was just one-sided evil. She's right. having people's arms froze off. She's keeping these people mm-hmm. back in the back. They don't get no, they're getting rationed food. Mm-hmm. And then they, they, as it goes, they kind of revealed more and more layers about why she had to make those yeah. choices. So well, I'm hopefully they do that with him too. I'm hoping too. Yeah. 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 I'm hoping so too. And I think they probably will. You know, it seems a little cuckoo, right? Well, but but it's hot. The thing about that is he's (laughs) he's cooked this shit with. Well, but he's cooked this big ass breakfast and stuff, and uh, evidently all the rest of the people on Big Alice ain't getting no food. No, no. they they growing weed and shit, trying to barter. (laughs) What for fruit? Yeah, for fruit. Oh man! And that Alex tells him. 
yeah in the past three days yeah. she's very smart i yeah. like her mm-hmm. yeah i like her now too that they have done what we were talking about earlier so they've kind of pushed her past the teen past anger, a little, anger. Past a little anger thing yeah well, or they're like she still mm-hmm. has it but they're letting other pieces come through which i'm glad yes because mm-hmm. i did not want to dislike this little her teenager you, yes. yeah that's yep. good face acting yeah yeah she yeah. does she does <laughs> Yeah, yeah mm. Wilford, honey, he was smoking up his dude. He was rolling his shit up. So what did y'all think about him? his liquor. Right. What did yeah. y'all think about Wilford refusing to let Ben come on Big Alice? <laughs> that, no, this is a Ben free zone. I thought that was hilarious. Petty. <laughs> yeah. Petty. Petty. Yeah, that's Petty. Yeah, he jealous. Of mm-hmm. course. Salty. Salty and petty. Mm-hmm. I thought that was yep. funny. I laughed. <laughs> and he said, no, Ben, you will not. And Ben was like, you will not. Because it's right. a Ben free zone. <laughs> and I think she was just to A's face like, Ben free zone. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh-huh, you got oh, that. would be good. That would be good. <laughs> Oh man, I thought, oh gosh, how, how petty can you be? But I, but the the whole point of them having to go over to get parts and stuff to me was interesting. And the fact that well, it was to- interesting when they opened the door and he's sitting there like a king. Yeah. Oh mm. man, with his. His people standing behind him, and when Layton said, "Oh, we can well, wait, wait," before we you just get... kind of thought, mm-hmm. "Go ahead." What? Go well, ahead. I was going to say, I thought it was really interesting when Layton offered them fresh fruit and stuff in exchange for parts for like the parts of the engine and purpose. stuff, and the people, be- and, and and of course the people behind. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Wilford was going to be salivating yes. and stuff, but I, it was really interesting when he said, "Oh, so I see that you, uh, you, you really are. Uh, You've learned a mm-hmm. lot. In short Learning time been how to be a charge. good leader. Uh huh. Well, that that let you know that in his mind, he thought, Ah, Kevin did tell him. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, but see, Leighton, before they even got to that meeting, he already had an idea. He says, oh, yeah, we're going to need some parts. OK, I got an idea for that. Yeah. 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 So he gathered all that shit up and was ready with it. Oh, yeah. For it. I mean, he is thinking at least, though. So at least he is thinking. Mm-hmm. And he also mm-hmm. knows, even though Kevin, I mean, well, yeah, they know because Kevin was Kevin. stopping them wings. Kevin. <laughs> but they should also know. know because they're willing to go against Mr. Wilford, who obviously is crazy and will get your ass, to open that door to do trade for yeah. a mango or a piece of fruit or even one little yeah. thing. They're giving yeah. this big ass bag of weed for one damn piece of fruit. So I tell you something yeah. right there. So well, yeah. okay, I got a question mm-hmm. too. Because when uh, now that I think about it, when Mr. Welford, of course, was was making a, a Kevin kill himself and saying, you let them in and stuff. Did he go back and get those dudes? Who was supposed to be on, on like duty, you know, watching that, that, oh, that opening? I don't know. See, I don't think so. Don't they were there. OK, so it was the same dudes, you think? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think the same dudes. See, I don't know. I think he got Kevin because Kevin revealed shit to them. Yeah. Okay. Kevin yeah. let them know they're hungry. He probably yeah. banished the yeah. other ones, but he probably let them keep on going because he ain't got a ton of damn people. Exactly. He, got, he, he can't afford to <laughs> kill up everybody who did something. Yeah. But when they open that door, well, first of all, let's talk about my girl, Ruth. I just like her character. She was so excited. She is so happy and 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 content to be the yes. liaison communication yes. person you know oh Give she waits till, Give she waits till everybody gets there and, and then, then she picks like, up the phone but no wait no she fear. gives them a speech too says look let us be on our best behavior. I know. Yeah. <laughs> straighten up everybody <laughs> okay here colors. we go she's like that mama who's like okay when we get in this store don't embarrass me <laughs> 
act right. Oh my gosh! I'm going to somebody I just love her character though. I, I really too. like her. I do too. Oh, she's she one of just, my favorites. Yeah, she she, she just cracks me up. But yeah, she's just so prim and proper. But she still has even emotion. Liked her more after this, she does, I do too. Yeah, I just too. love her more. Yeah, I love episode. it because she yeah. is that prim and proper, yes. and she's trying to make sure that everything is neat. But you can see still her personality and her, her emotion and stuff underneath all of that. Yes, when she lets it out, and then she'll like, okay, I gotta shake that off. Exactly. Yeah. My, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I love that. But, That's how but, you do it. I know. Yep. But she is, um, you know, uh, what's good about her is, like you said. Her, her personality comes through, even through all of that hospitality and you got to be prim and proper and all this stuff. But she is just a, a, a people can identify with her because she's just a regular working decent right. person. Yeah, working she might class. spot up and say, oh, you made me mad and blah, blah, blah. But she's a decent person, you know, inside. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes you really like her though. Like some of them yeah. folks well, ain't even decent yeah. on the inside. But, you know, so but there's a well, I have a conflict a little bit because, like, we're talking about all of this. She's a decent person, but yet, and still, she treated the tailies like she treated them in the first season. Yeah, that's she did. true, but, Melanie, but that's because she we was like her loyal. today. But listen, Melanie is the same way. We, we understand right. she was doing it for a reason, but she still treated these people. Yeah. Real people like that, mm-hmm. but and so mm-hmm. that's the conflict mm-hmm. that you have, and I think that's a great conflict the writers are making that we mm-hmm. have that we're okay, yeah. and this is what Josie was talking about, and the old lady was talking about with Leighton. Like, I uh, get it. This is what we have but to see. Do. I don't have a conflict because I'm a trekkie. And just like most trackies, I, I'm, I explain it to you. Why do we goody. have to go back to start? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just like most trackies Every- understand the quintessential statement made by Spock to Captain Kirk. And he said, the needs of the many outweigh right. the needs of the I few. Get that. And that's exactly why Melanie and, um, uh, uh, and, and all the hospi- uh, hospitality instituted what they instituted. Now we see it as cruel and stuff, you know, freezing them with the, with the, it was not the necessary air, though. It and all that stuff. Yeah, but they had to have some, some you, form of You cannot of justify discipline. that because of that. No, it's not no justifiable. Excuse. There's no excuse for that. It's not an eye for an eye. I don't think. No. And there was great. That, and it was just so, um, what's the word base like so brutal it was like the, that process of freezing because them like they did that. not feel like it they was. were worthy enough to be treated like people yeah. right because like they didn't people. have a ticket like the, yeah, they right, because away. they jumped the train at the end well, but that's not a reason to yeah. do that no that's I'm like saying in that's society why they, they put them in the in the back because they jumped the train no it wasn't the that, they weren't put in the back they were pushed to the back yeah but there's no excuse the for the cruelty right for seven years yeah, seven right. years is a long time. So this is it why is. I get why the mm. tailies are salty with Leighton because not only is he, <laughs> oh, sure. you know, up at the top of the train now with Zara and Zara betrayed the tail. Betrayed and he's protecting them. her. And we understand why he's protecting her because of this baby. And because he used to yeah, love her. That even ain't if she his. didn't have the baby, I think <laughs> even if she didn't have a baby, he would protect her because of his feelings for her before. Just because and he's not what a person think? that's I do. I, I don't think he's a revengeful mm-hmm. person. He has a lot of trouble yeah. just indiscriminately killing people. We saw that in the first yeah. season. That's but true. I get why the people are salty because here he is. He's protecting this woman that betrayed them. She left them, first of all. She betrayed them with Josie. And now she's moved up to the front of the train. So it's obviously for her gain. But then also he's working with the person who kept them back there, Melanie, who perpetuated this lie yeah, for yeah. seven years and kept mm-hmm. them back in the train. And they could have just taken probably an nth of what the first class people were getting. And they could have still right. fed everyone and not kept them and burned their arms off and did all the shit that they did to them. So there's no excuse, really. So that's the conflict. I like mm-hmm. Melanie. I like Ruth, but you always remember, uh, but they was also perpetuating that. They, they're savages, yes. animals. Ruth would come in there with her yeah. little fur coat and be like, okay, 
We'll take that one. That kid. Yeah, that kid. Yeah. You should be lucky your kid's going up there to have a life because y'all going to be mm-hmm. stuck back here. So as much as I like them, I still think about, ooh, but they was they was still doing that. That was hateful. But that's that was because hateful. everybody isn't all bad. I like, know that. Even the worst good. people all good. got some kind of quality, you know, s- some good quality. And just like yeah. um, all these people that you uh, look at that you think are really good and wholesome and they got some shit they doing behind closed doors. Yeah. That's just a human being, you know. Right. But that's the conflict that you have within yourself. Just be like, okay, but this is how they mm-hmm. treated that, me. But that's the conflict people have in real life. Every day. I know that's what I'm saying. You know, because obviously these people who are in front of other individuals portraying themselves to be one thing. And within themselves, they know that over here, they something opposite. I don't see how they do it. I don't, know. I don't understand how they do it, but people do that. Yeah. Some people, I mean, do, yeah. you know, they do. That's just too much to remember. Exactly. <laughs> That's why oh, no. I just be I the same with yeah. everybody. Just tell yeah, the truth. Because you, you got to remember all that. Yeah. And people who lie, I don't get it. How do you remember who you know what lie to? You right? They, they don't. They up. don't. Energy. That's why they get That's caught. too much thinking. <laughs> they get too okay. much energy. Yes. And think of all that energy that could be put to some good use. Right. You know. But exactly. Anyway. <laughs> but yes, mm-hmm. I do like Ruth, though. And I do like Melanie. I do, I do like, like Ruth. You know, the Roche and Till and all them, too. But then on the other hand, you always go, mm, okay, but they could slide right back into that, probably. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about these bodybuilding fools that got a uh, Wilford um, tattooed on their ass. No. They got <laughs> Wilford tattoos. And they are, they said, hey, we hanging back. We ain't fighting. We ain't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. We ain't waiting for Mr. Welford to come. So who did that to um, the lady who got her thumb and her pinky yeah, cut lights. off? Light. Yeah, lights. lights. Who did that then? I think it's pretty, I thought at first that it would be something some first class people did. Out of class, uh, mm. you know, class hate. Mm-hmm. Mm. But now they, it looks like maybe those bodybuilders did it. Yeah, I feel See, like I they're... don't think it. I don't think it was but the bodybuilders. Yeah, I don't I think it was them. It's too obvious. To I think, think it was, it was some of those folks in the room in third class yeah. as he was walking through. Yeah. that was cheering on Mr. Wilson yeah. and, and doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But didn't it seem schools. like she knew who it was? But she says, "I'm not saying nothing else." Because yeah, yes. I, could, I didn't understand. Yes. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, so if you know, how come you ain't name dropping or something? She said, right. "Look, I gotta live here because it's got to be somebody close, close yeah. or someone yeah. that she yeah has to be." Well, they were somebody yeah. that lives the, there. She was up in the um, upper cars, and I guess mm-hmm. that's when she said, "Oh no, I need to go. My take my ass right back to the tail and live there because." Sad. But they said she was trying to set up a shop yeah. to help people because she she's mechanical. She yeah. knows how to fix shit and do stuff. Mm-hmm. And they and she said somebody said I think they're trying to make it to where she can't work, but also uh, portray a message that y'all don't belong up in here. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I kind of did mm-hmm. not understand the whole point of going to those guys. Yeah, I the didn't understand guys. it either, except just to show us that they were there. And, and they're leave. loyal to Wilford. Yeah. Yeah. And they're loyal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll probably they, come up and do something for him. But the one guy's a bartender, yeah. though, isn't he? That main guy, wasn't he a bartender like in the no. night car, too? No, he was the guy oh. that was um, always going outside. They're the people that go outside. <gasps> That's yeah. right. That's, That's who that guy stuff. was. Yeah, the big one. That Melanie. Yeah, that big one. Um, when when she was going to go outside to fix that thing, and he's like, "No, that's our job." She's like, "No, you mm-hmm. don't know how to do da 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 da." That's who that guy is. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, that's who he is. But it was interesting that Roche was like, "I don't like going to see these guys. I don't like these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to go." I was like, "What?" <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah, he's kind of funny. That guy Roche. Now, he I said all know. he all he want to do is get a pint, go home to his wife, and right. be done for the day. That's what he said. I want to know. Clock though. in, clock out. That's right. 
<laughs> um, why Teal is sleeping in the office? Because she, she's not with that girl. Yeah. She can't go back to her old place. I'm sure someone she, moved in as soon as she left. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. sure. Yeah. I'm sure. That could be. Yeah. 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 But it's it's kind of funny how she went like like classic archetype hard boiled detective like wearing the trench coat and she's like okay let's get to business i gotta find this this, this, this. yeah i think that i think that's kind of cute the way that just <laughs> happened like that i feel like she yeah. feels like it's her costume like but that haircut when... is not cute no 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 it she is looks not good when she has it down though when it's down i don't even like it yeah. when it's Mm-mm. well it's the bangs that's too problem. severe it's very severe it is. And for someone so skinny and angular already, I don't think you need mm-hmm. asymmetrical. That's probably pointy why they did it, though. <laughs> That's probably why they did it to make it I look more like so like in hard. the future. I think they're trying yeah. to make it yeah. to where she doesn't care what it looks like. She's just trying right. to. You notice how they all do their ponytails? They do that little swishy thing in the back. She does it. <laughs> Melanie does it, where it's like a little bow in the back. <laughs> yeah. all the, all oh, the I women. haven't paid attention. Yeah. I have to look. Chill does it and Melanie yeah, does it. So it's a, do. not just like a ponytail, but they wrap it to where it's kind of folded and then the little swishy parts like on the side. But <laughs> I've noticed that when she has it down to me, it looks better because, you know, I don't know about the side being cut, but. My mm-hmm. thing is that I feel like she, you know, when she, when Layton first made her detective, she's like, I'm not ready. I'm not. I feel like right. she put that coat on like, okay, well, I'm going to fake it till I make it. I'm going to put on the detective coat yep. and have my detective coat hey. <laughs> and uh, fake it till I make oh. it. <laughs> yeah. You got to dress for the job. There you yeah. go. That's right. Yeah. It's okay, like wearing then, a blazer to a meeting. <laughs> let's talk about yeah. little Alex. Yes. This was she's her, my favorite. Well, she's not my favorite, but this was her best episode, though. Because really yeah, sweet. You, you could see that that exterior cracking just a little bit. And I like the fact more than a that, little bit. Yeah, yeah. but I, didn't you love Wait, the before, fact for, for her to say uh her uh when Melanie says, you know, I want to know about you, what you like, you got any friends? She said, You want to see where I sleep? But before I that, that you sleep. Sleep. before that, Sister J, but at the very beginning, because we skipped it, when Wilford was making breakfast. And she was like, they can smell the eggs and all that stuff. And right. he, and he yeah, was saying, he was F like, them, actually. No, he right. was, and he was like, well, in a few hours, Melanie's going to go commit suicide on this mission and jump it off the plane. And yeah. then later on, but wait, later on, and he's like, well, she's going to go kill herself on this mission. He kept, he said it like four to five times. Do you think he said that on per? Was he kept saying it? Well, sure. In front of yeah. Alex on purpose. Of course. Yeah. But the part I like, her mind. The part I like yeah. is when she it's got when up and, and said, I'm gonna go help Melanie pack. And he calls yeah. the dog and she calls the dog. <laughs> that was yeah, that was, sweet. <laughs> that was good. That was mm-hmm. so yeah. good. And I thought to myself, Oh, what you gonna have the dog do? Right. right. That She's lets like, you know sure? that she wait a minute, that lets you know that she's around that dog a lot more than him. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. he minded her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The poor dog was confused. He was like, and then, so yeah. I don't think so though. He was like, oh, no. Mama has was loyal well, to but Alex. When, <laughs> when Wilford called him, he was like, but when he when he first stood up, it was like, What who am I supposed to be biting? Because I'm not biting my mama. <laughs> <laughs> my friend. Yeah, I'm not biting my mama. My friend. <laughs> but wait a minute. But didn't you find it? Didn't you find it strange? That when she said, whatever that is, what's that dog named? Jupiter? Jupiter. Yes, Jupiter. that's my dog's name. Yeah, she said Jupiter. Oh. And oh. the dog sat back down. Then Wilford said, oh, well, okay. For this one time, yeah, go on. Uh-huh. Because what could he say? Yeah, that's, that's what saying. I'm saying. He that's has what to I'm make it look at. like it was his choice to let exactly. her do it. Like he's still in control. Like exactly. In control. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. But I thought that mm-hmm. was really, I thought that was... I thought when he went down and showed her that those parts cars and, and I forget how many cars he said that there were. 27. I thought the y'all could have gave up some parts for, for snow piercer. That's why when she said, I need six and he said, I'm going to give you three. She's like, no, I'm going to get six. I'm going to get six. Cause I know you got them <laughs> and I need them. To do, 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 do. 
<gasps> oh my he god, just, he is again, such a butthole. Goody Roop, like you said, he he's, still, he's being petty. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's petty. how that was. Like I don't want her to have it because I don't want her to survive. Mm-hmm. Basically, you don't want her to survive. Of course not. Yeah. Need it, but but Alex knows that. It. Alex knows that. Yeah, yeah. she does. Mm-hmm. She sees she's it not really stupid now. You can tell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also bad. before we get to that conversation with Melanie and Alex, <laughs> I thought it was very good build up or what's the word? Sister J and LM, you know it. Like character foreshadowing or whatever. Because the, when she first foreshadowing. When she first, yeah, foreshadowing because mm-hmm. she was when they were getting dressed. Her and Ben, she was talking about a whole month. This is not what a good mother does. She's feeling that guilt that she's yeah. about to leave mm-hmm. and possibly die when she just found her daughter yeah. again. Mm-hmm. She's having that mother's guilt, and then so when she they get to that supply car and Alex comes in, you can see her face. She's just like can't take her eyes off of Alex as she's walking yep. I know. across that thing. But I like the I fact that she was honest. Of- she said, when Alex said, you're choosing again to yeah. leave me, and she said, yeah, I have to. Yeah. So you can actually have a life. Yeah. Yep. Right. And, and it seemed to me, Alice, Alex seemed to, that seemed to click in her little brain. It did. You know, it, it, did. it looked like to you that uh, when Melanie said that she wasn't backing down like, oh, but honey, no, I don't want to leave you. No, she said, yeah, mm-hmm. I am choosing to do. But that's so you can mm-hmm. have a life. Yeah. Right. You know, that was a good line. I like that. Now, I what, like I, that. what really confused me, I don't know if I blinked or missed something, <laughs> but. OK, so Mr. Brofort was trying to get. I don't understand the whole thing about when Alex was um, driving or engineering and she wasn't supposed to press the brake. Mind games. Yeah, mind games. He was messing with her mind. He was like, if you push it now, she that. might die. If you push it now, she might stay on the train. He was yeah. testing her. Yeah. But the way he was doing it, he's like, if you do this, she might die. But at yeah. the same time, she's talking to Melanie. Yeah. I, I'm well, but that's because, okay, he was doing that because he proved exactly what Melanie <laughs> told Alex when she was, uh, uh, they were in her little bunk, you know, where she, uh, she yeah. said, I'll show you where I sleep. And that mm-hmm. is, she said to Alex, she said, Wilford, Wilford's cruelty is not yours. Yes. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. that was the whole, that was a whole example of it. And you better believe Alex is thinking that because yeah. Melanie, without but, Wilford around or anything, she's saying, look, he just likes to be cruel to be cruel. He fuck with people. Yeah. And, and there's no rhyme or reason to it, but his cruelty is not your cruelty. And she was listening and she Meaning, knows how cruel but what she is. did, but what she did, she did listen to him. Right. Well, but, but at the not- same time, that's what Melanie wanted anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the part I was confused. Well, so it was confusing. to me in that part. It it was him testing her, mm-hmm. right? And depending on which way she went, he would have his answer as to what Alex's motivation, his loyalty, loyalty. Which is why he yeah. kept right. saying, "I feel like," which is why from even the jump, he kept saying, "She's going to die." She's going to die of a suicide mission. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have her anymore. Mm-hmm. Was to test her. So knowing that she spent time with her and that it's her mother and she's going to have mother, you know, daughter. You mm-hmm. better believe mother. that girl went back and told somebody, oh, she got Melanie in her bunk. Yeah. Her where she said, oh, yeah. You know but that wait, bitch not even told. that. Not even at that point <laughs> yeah. yet. But even at the, uh, well, so even before the scene where he is saying, push a button, don't push the brake, don't right. do that, he knows definitely that she went and took her to her of little course. bunk area. And they sat yeah. there and talked for however long. Of course. Mm-hmm. And he also got confirmation because when Alex was um, putting her hand on the train, Feeling the the train. Her, and he says, oh, is she still doing that? That stupid mess. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, mm-hmm. yeah. And she told yeah. me that there was a break in the uh, wheel. Out of, a wheel out of alignment. Uh-huh. It true. Because I had one of the right. guys go check it. He, all, right. all that went into his brain. Like, uh-huh. Oh, of course. She's softening towards, even though she yep. doesn't call her mother in front of him. Mm-hmm. He knows. But, okay, so this is the that, thing. But the, but the part, part I'm 
take the break. Don't take the break. If you don't push the, if you don't push the gas too much, we'll skip the window. We'll miss the window and we'll have a whole nother cycle to go around before we hit it again, which means she has more time with her mama. Yep. Or if you don't hit the, if you do hit the break, she's going to die. Cause he's always saying she's going to die if she jumps off and does. Right. Mm-hmm. So he's testing her to see how much is she resolved to stay with her mom or kill her mom no in his eyes. no no that's not it he was testing her that's true but that's not the reason he was testing her to see is she going to be loyal to what i say right. or what her mom says she he knows her mother has told her the procedure to get snow piercer and big alice up over that mountain so they can drop her where she needs to drop and drop the uh, supplies and stuff Uh and if she puts the brakes on at the specific time that melanie had already told her then melanie will be dropped off and you know all that Wilford keeps saying she's going to die. She's going to die because he's trying to get in her head so he said all that to see is she not going to do the break And have more time with her mama, which I'm telling her, don't push the brake, don't push the brake. Or is she going to follow her mom who wants to actually be dropped off? And uh, whether he can care less whether Melanie dies or not. Ain't that what I just said? She did. It is. No. What's confusing (laughs) is she did what Melanie wanted anyway. She did what Melanie yeah, wanted right? and not what Wilford yeah. wanted. Exactly. Exactly. Or yeah. not, he not what Wilford like... was telling her at the time. He right. wants so why was gone Mel- too. Why was he he was like if... Melanie wanted so why was he acting like because he was testing I her. listen to me. Yeah, I don't know. Because I that's think his he control. Like, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's just a part it. of his cruelty and control. He's awful. He sucks. He's well, the worst. But, but, mm-hmm. but think Darwin. about it. But that's exactly <laughs> what Melanie said. That's a part of, that's part a of his, part of his, his cruelty. Yeah. yeah. And we've My seen game. him being cruel to other people. He only did that yeah. to exert mental control over her. He wants Melanie off the fucking train. Yeah, he wants he her wants to her jump on. on. But he keeps he telling her, her that because she's going to die. It's going to be a piece of cake for him to go in mm-hmm. there and get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, he, but he knows that, first of all, he thinks Melanie's going to die. And, yeah. he, and I think it's because he's got a plan to make her die. But that's a whole other thing. Yeah. But he keeps <laughs> telling mm-hmm. Alex she's going to die with this plan. She's going to die. She's going to die. Because it's all part of the control he's going to have over her. In that moment, he's saying, okay. Push the brake. Do what she says. We're we're following the procedure of how we're going to get this going, or have more time with her. He wants to see what she's going to do, so he knows how much extra he's got to put his control on her or not. How much loyalty, and that's basically what I was saying is that basically in her mind, or he's trying to make it in her mind like one way you have time with your mama. One day she dies. Let me see what you're going to do. Mm-hmm. Just for the sole purpose of seeing how much control he still has over her, but I like the fact w- when she did it, doing. and and they got where they needed to go, and then she's got this one little tear, and he says, "That's the last tear I'm gonna let you have," and she said, "That's the last one you get." I love that. Yeah, I love, I love, that. That, I love that, too. that when she said Woo! that. And, that's, and <laughs> that way, way, she didn't hesitate. She said, and "That's the last one you're gonna get. Yeah. You're gonna get." <laughs> so she know i think she's already right yeah exactly Boop. I think she, <laughs> she, she fell right on, on nose Good, yeah goody fell right on mm-hmm. in there yeah. i like that <laughs> i do it that's how i do it when i when i say that i don't know we don't do, do the nose we thing. don't start no. doing that we bit. don't start doing it though <laughs> yeah <laughs> because like in charades when you get something right you go like that oh really and really i didn't yeah. know that okay huh. yeah I haven't played we in a while. Charades. that's it i do that in my classroom too <laughs> 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 i think i got the book from y'all but anyway, I, did... I was gonna say uh-huh. about alex she she is smart they're showing us that she is smart enough and that's where all that face acting mm-hmm. is coming in they're showing us that she's smart enough to fake or like 
hide her feelings from Wilford yeah. as she's learning mm-hmm. about more about like the context of everything because Lord only knows what he's told her. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. See, I mean, who knows the shit that he's been telling her for seven years? Seven yeah. years. And since she was seven, right? She was yeah. just a kid. Mm-hmm. Kids are impressionable. I, yeah. And I loved the scene when they were in the supply car before they go mm-hmm. to the car and Melanie just is like, I just want to know, do you have friends? I know. Yeah. I'm yeah. Your kids over here. You know, what do you like to do? What, what do you, do you laugh? Yeah. And all oh, that was so sad. Just all I know. That was so sad. The way she was yes. looking at her, like, this is what I don't just care that you're, I mean, I care that you're safe. Right. Now I want to know about you, the person that you have become. Yeah. And I I've doubt missed. Wilford has ever asked her anything. Oh, no, oh, he ain't asking them yeah. kind of questions. Of course not. And then I thought, mm-hmm. what did you think? Uh, now, So then when she's like, I want to know where you sleep. It's like, yeah. okay, I'm going to tell you. Come on. And they go to that other section with all the other, whoever these other people are. And that blonde yeah. lady, they, they focused on her at the very now, beginning. Now, that surprised me. Didn't it? Because y'all because theory that he's her daddy. Her bunk like everybody else. Exactly. You would think he would give her a bedroom. No. Yeah. No. No. If that was his if that was his daughter. That's what I assume. So I'm like no. this he, whole time. He the daddy. No, he the daddy. That's him. Well, I hope but not. I, oh. I didn't think she was I knew she wasn't like living large right. over there. Like but... she said, like <laughs> she told her mama. Everybody has a bunk like this, exactly. except for Wilford. Yeah, uh, but but we are allowed to decorate them. Mm-hmm. Everybody on Big Alice has a bunk like that. Now that lets you know they ain't got no sleeper cars and shit. They might right. have a hundred cars no. or however many cars they got. But only like forty three on Alice. 40, oh, okay, forty three. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. you know, okay. And several of them, of them are supplies. I was gonna just go say that several of so, them are supplies. Right, Somebody though. do the math. LM, what's that? Nope. What's that left over? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. If you notice, if you notice, Wilford's quarters are the where the engine room is. Yep. Where the engine yeah. room, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yep. big Alice, all every everything else is either that supply cars or them bunks. Or the doctor lab. Yeah. Or the doctor lab. You're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or the oh, jail, let's talk about the jail. Let's car. talk about Icy the Bob jail. for a minute. Ooh, yeah. Oh that. my God. Ooh. They are torturing that man. First yeah. of all, can we talk about how big that mofo is? He is big. He's really big. He is He's gotta be seven feet longest. tall. He's he gotta be huge. seven feet tall. I'm like, yeah. this is the mountain. And way he has to weigh his Yeah, that's yeah. that's like the guy that but played when the mountain they were in walking, Game of Thrones. Yes. When he was walking yes. in and the doctor was standing next to him, I'm like, good lord, how tall is this mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Those doctors are kind of cute. He's I think. like run run almost, yeah. you know. In Ooh. Game of Thrones, run run. Ooh. The giant. Oh, the giant, yes. Mm-hmm. Almost he's not quite it's, that. It wasn't run one run. One. One 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 one. 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 Okay. Anyway. Anyway, but oh, that big. dude was big, but <laughs> was but big. you know what though? That is so mean. Now, it, mean. no kidding. Why are they testing Icy Bob? Okay, but wait. Not only why are they testing him, but when Wilford came back, did you first of all see all the slush they was? Yeah. Yes. What the hell was that? Like little skin pieces and shit. His skin. Had red, red pieces. His skin. In it. Like, like freezer burn. I, I like freezer watch. burn on like, meat. Yeah, yes, freezer nasty. burn. Yeah. And then they obviously mm-hmm. slather him with that stuff that they, they made. But right. oh, then right. heal him up. Yeah. they said, I don't know if I wrote that down. They said, I wrote it down 96 degrees below zero for 54 minutes. And he's and talking Wilford about do it, do it again and do no, it No, they said more. he needs to go yeah! colder okay. and longer. Yeah. And they said, do we have the full month? Which means they, the month that Melanie going to be gone, they got some shit cooking. Oh, hell and wait, yeah. He said, he said, estimate half that. Count on half that. Which means, again, he's cooking something up to make sure yeah. Melanie don't come back. That's my yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. He is. Yeah. 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 What does that mean? Is he going he to send Icy Bob out? To go out there? That's exactly what I thought. That's what I thought. He's going to see Icy Bob out there. 
to get her. To get her. Rather than Poor pick Barbara her up, they're going to drop him off. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> or when yeah. they go to get her, pick her up, they're going to send Icy Bob out to do it or something to her before yeah, she gets back on something. the train. Yeah, that's mm. that guy is very creepy to me. That that whole process was disgusting. Wasn't it awful? Frankenstein. Yeah. But you and know dog, what? Okay. Yes. This is what I thought also. I was trying to put some other things together. And you know, Melanie had 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 told Alex, and I, I think Alex now understands that, you know, Melanie doesn't just talk to be chit chat. Yeah, she, she talks when she's got something to say, whether it's to her or Wilford or anybody. That's mm-hmm. what she does. Mm-hmm. And when Melanie told her at the very last, look, if you get afraid or you need anything, the yeah. people over in Snowpiercer, you let them know mm-hmm. because you, you got people over there, you know, who can help you. And I think that's going to prove um, uh, good for uh, Alice because I think at some point point by the end of the season yeah she's gonna be running over there to ruth that's what i think yeah Mm -hmm. i hope so yeah i think yeah but where is miles gonna be ready for miles Miles? Miles. the only mention they made of him is when josie uh, excuse me, when um, uh, Layton was going to see Josie, when, when yep. they was moving everybody to the third car, because the, they needed the energy, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. uh, the output from the first and second car. So they moved every, uh, everybody out. The only mention mm-hmm. is that the nurse said before Layton went in, she doesn't want Miles to no, see No, that her. was the old lady. Oh, okay. When he wait, went wait. to see her the first oh. time, yeah. Yeah. She doesn't so, want him to see her That's the only like mention this. anybody's ever made of Miles. We ain't seen hide the hair. I think he grew over to some. That's yeah, me think. too. <laughs> I hate when shows do that. Just we already know how genetics works. Just I know. They come back. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Wait, okay. I got a question. Let's go back to Icy Bob. I got a question, and that is this. I do know that the doctors, okay, they were excited to see Melanie when she was first brought to them. Remember that? And they put that salve on her bar. Yeah. And they was talking to her. They were just talking, telling her yeah. information and stuff. They were. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, when Wilford said to them, they don't mind experimenting on Icy Bob because they got that goo that'll heal him. But when, mm-hmm. when Wilford said, I want it lower than 96 below zero and longer, I, something in my mind said to me, you know, at some point they may say, you know what, this ain't right. We need to right. do something else. And they might buck him. Mm-hmm. And maybe even mm-hmm. Icy Bob. You never know. Because he mm-hmm. might get tired of it too. Now, we don't okay. know what his, what his mental state is. We just know what his physical state is. You see what I mean? Yeah. But we yeah. don't know what Icy Bob's mental state is. I mean, uh, we don't know if he's mute, if he's deaf, or anything. Like, we just deaf, know he's big. But he's... I, I feel like the doctors may not buck Wilford or Dubs. I like how Alex calls them Dubs. <laughs> yeah, I got a Dubs. You can leave Dubs. I love that. <laughs> uh, but um, I feel like Bob, I see Bob, that may come into play. Mm. Well, yeah. To buck, buck back like, uh, this is not for me. Yeah. 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 But just like Leighton was smart in trying to get into everyone's mind at that meetup about the fresh food, they everybody over there knows that they have fresh food. They ain't getting none. Yeah. But we'll forget some. Yeah. So right. at some point, they're going to be like, okay. There might be a mutiny get, on Big Alice. Yeah, I right. Get that, uh, I think that's what Leighton mm, wants. Exactly. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's trying to infiltrate in that way. In but I'm glad, psyche. right? But I'm glad Layton is a thinker, though. You know, I'm glad he is a thinker. But, but, and they showed that from like the first season because being a, a police detective <laughs> when the world was still the world and everything, you know, he's a thinker. You got to like follow some clues and look at everything and observe. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. I mean, he figured so. out that Wilford wasn't actually there. I mean, he's good at what yeah. he does. He's observant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I like that they're still showing that um, now, like you said last week, yeah. Mr. Jay, when he, uh, when um, Wilford came over 
And he was, yeah. and Melanie was giving her speech, and then Wilford was giving his speech the whole time. Layton's just looking at Wilford the whole time, he, like seeing his reaction. The whole time. Just kind of Didn't trying to read him. Yeah. He has mm-hmm. that skill. So mm-hmm. I feel and like he's me. that here now. Believe me, Layton knows. Layton figures that Wilford's going to try some shit because yeah. Melanie's done warned him. Yeah. That's yeah. why he said to Pike, hey, yeah. I'm going to, you have to run by me what fruit we give him, but you start your little weed business going again. Yeah. Now that's mm-hmm. going to be good for everybody because that, 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 that uh, drug dude upstairs um, in, in the night car yeah. who's up on the top level, I forget oh, what his yeah. name is. Then he's going to be happy too, because then Pike's going to be in the weed business. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That was a funny scene. And see, this is the thing, but this is the thing about Layton that many uh, uh, evil villainous type people who think they're smarter than everyone else, Mm -hmm. this is going to be his downfall. All he's looking at is how can I defeat Layton? He's got a whole bunch of other people in there that's just as smart as Layton who want to take him (laughs) out too. A whole bunch of them. So... You know, he's got more than just Layton to deal yeah, with. Yeah, but he's got his, he's not, he doesn't Loyalist. operate the same way. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. when you have somebody who will send all the troops before they even step out the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Layton, yeah. Layton's on the front Layton line with, with his people. Yeah. Uh, Wilfred ain't going to be. He's going to send all his people first. No. And he'll be, so that's yeah. the difference. So you can't. Hiding out that way. That's true. With that. So you have to yeah. be sneaky, yeah. you know, subtle with the shit. And that's what Layton's doing. He's he like, okay, he sneaky. didn't he didn't agree with the, I'll give you parts for food. So he's gonna have Pike do it. Yeah. The back door way. Mm-hmm. He's gonna give all those away. people a little taste of a peach here, a strawberry there, yeah. <laughs> yep. a chicken over here. Yeah. And then they'll get a little, they'll get a taste of it. And they'll be willing to mm-hmm. open up and oh, yeah. a little bit more. Mm-hmm. He's smart. He know. Mm-hmm. First of all, being a detective <laughs> and being a cop, he knows. He knows. Oh yes, he knows all the tricks. Mm-hmm. How to get them crim nails. Mm-hmm. And I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if if Mister Wilford knows Layton's background. Did he say? I, I don't, don't think so. He didn't he say. A good oh, question. yeah. Does he know he's a detective See, and a cop? Be- because he yeah. might not be as cavalier in his thinking, thinking that, oh, I'm just going to roll up in right. there. And get you know, if, if, um, see, I don't know. Maybe don't Ruth know will that- tell him. Ruth will probably mm. tell him. He probably already knows because he was walking through the train in last mm-hmm. episode. So I'm sure someone has peeped him yeah. on and told him. Yeah, yeah, could be. And that girl, the rich girl, right? Didn't the rich girl mm-hmm. come over yes. to Big Alice, the psycho? Yeah, RJ. Yeah. LJ, yeah. whatever her name is. No, she was still on Snowpiercer, though. She, she, is. she, oh, she was. She was just hugging him as he went through Snowpiercer, remember, to go oh, to yeah. that meeting. Mm-hmm. So, you know. she. We haven't seen the last of her. Oh, no. I hope she's clean out. Some or toilets. the Mohawk guy, oh. you know, the Mohawk dude. Yeah, the guy she's him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't like him though. No, you're I not mean, supposed to. At least her yeah. character, I can see her craziness, but no, oh, I don't like him at all. I don't see her craziness. She yeah, can't. I don't she, see her craziness. Oh yeah, either. I can see her craziness because her parents fucked her up. <laughs> no. She fucked them up. Well, but <laughs> they, they should have. Hey, they should have put her in an asylum at, when she was four. When right. she poked, she poked, when she poked daddy's eye out. That's true. Exactly. I mean, really, you know. So they they've been much too permissive with her. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why she is like she is. That mm-hmm. contributed. To that. Yep. Mm-hmm. They should have slapped that ass back when she was four. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> you know yep. <laughs> they shut up, and her parents are dead, right? They died yeah. in the war. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In that, they were let, they... left on the track. Remember, remember, yeah, uncle, yes, uncle, and that was all the Richie Riches in there. 
Mm-hmm. Not all of them, but the least now several. Of them. All the leader leader ones, the what the ones that thought they were the leaders. Anyway. And all, uh, unfortunately, all the prisoners mm-hmm. from the tail. Yeah. yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, that's the way it go. I think we could see. I think I could see Alex doing some political maneuvering as well. Mm. She might like through back channels. Yeah, she might. She's really mm-hmm. smart, and we're supposed mm-hmm. to know that she's really smart. Yeah. So I think yes. she's cooking some stuff up. Mm-hmm. Well, well, the fact it, that she's the engineer and she's only yeah. fourteen or fifteen or however. Yeah. Old she Mm-hmm. And oh, did you notice in that conversation when they were in the bedroom in her bunk, when she's uh, talking to Melanie, and Melanie and she shows her the picture that she drew of her, and then she that looks, was oh really my good. Gosh. It was good. Yeah. So wow. talented. But when um, she was just looking at Melanie, she's like, "Well, he says you're the smartest person. You were the smartest." What did she say? The smartest person or student that he's ever best known. Best engineer or the best, best driver. Engineer. And Melody didn't Driver. say anything. She just kind of changed the topic. Like she mm-hmm. don't want to talk about Wilford in that mm-hmm. way. Her relationship mm-hmm. with Wilford. I mm-hmm. that was Even if it is shady. a compliment. Yeah. 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 But let's There's talk the about. there. Yeah. Let's talk mm-hmm. about when Melody first went over to Big Alice to put on the um, <laughs> snowsuit. Getting suit. ready to go. Uh-huh. And she was asking Ruth. To take oh. look after Alex, that was so good, and everything. And she says, "Well, of course, you know," and, mm-hmm. and 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 she was trying to tell Ruth that you know Layton was a good person, and so yeah, like, trust him, like you know, she was right, like, like she Ruth was, was yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. I love the fact, and, and of course, Ruth is just so, you know, like she was still mad, <laughs> but I love the fact that right before Melanie got all the way she says engineer we will see you when you get back yeah, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That, that was, was so that just was like oh, I, I know you. i almost teared up i thought oh Aww. ruth we love you ruth <laughs> i was tearing up when ruth was tearing up yeah. i tell you but that was so she didn't have to do that that was so ruth mm-hmm. though that was she crazy. was strutting in that front, though. But that she know <laughs> <laughs> in that coat, baby. She is very self-important when she has yes. to communique. I communique, communique. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that was that was the was best good. scene. That was so. It was, it was good. Yeah. Sweet. So. You know, I, I'm glad she told Melanie that right before she Yeah. She and had also to go. even um I like <laughs> that they showed Melanie being remorseful for lying to Ruth. Yeah. Yes. When she told Leighton at the very beginning, um, you could trust Ruth. If you get yeah. her on your side, mm-hmm. never lie to her. Because yeah. she will yeah, she will have your back. And I'm that's the one thing I know I probably can never repair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That I lied to her. Mm-hmm. So I feel like yeah. this was kind of like a apology, but not really. A, it was kind of like a they made up a made well, up right. Yes. They made up yes. because because Melanie has apologized to Ruth before, but Ruth wasn't hearing it. Yeah. You know, so but yeah, they made up. So, but I like the fact that Ruth was big enough to do that. Yeah, you know. Whether she believes that she'll ever see Melanie again or not, but at least she gave her that. She believes mm-hmm. that she will. What well, you're right, but but I like the fact that she gave her that um, that little 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 boost of courage. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah we know Melanie's gonna go there and stuff, but she probably she's already basically told Leighton I probably won't be back. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm glad I think that she's being um, realistic. It's yeah, a, a big but possibility. she she is a realistic yeah. person. So yeah. you know, and I okay, but let's talk about when she finally gets off the train. That mm-hmm. is, oh, I just feel so bad for her. It's just like nothing. And I mean, where, okay, yeah, where they where they left the um the supplies and stuff that she needs, it looks like it's an awful far away from where she it was. Does. At all. does 
That's what I was like. And she's minute. got Why to make it to there. So, so she's good. Gonna, wait a minute. This is what I kept thinking. By the time she hikes from where where she rolled off to where mm -hmm. the um what you call them is the supplies are, the whole snow pierce are gonna be gone, so it's gonna be pitch black out there. Oh yeah. I mean well, she's gonna be all be. the way gone. She has the light from her her uh, well, I know that's true, but I mean her. Yeah, but that's why she needed those whatever those. But they have were. done this shit in the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I kept thinking, honey. Like, it's not going to matter if it's night or day. The fucking it's cold. It's gonna be cold. Yeah, yeah. I know. right. I mean, we think it's cold <sighs> and it's twenty degrees, honey. It's <laughs> right. <laughs> whatever. Nine negative ninety six. Even more than that. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, when it was going up. It was negative mm -hmm. 96. Sure. Yeah. 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 Sent that balloon. But I think that's yeah. why she needed all six of whatever those things were, because I think that helps power yeah. her yeah. suit up. True. Where it keeps her warm enough to where she could actually make it there. Right. And then she's got to use a couple of really them. Think, do we think these supplies will malfunction? Oh, God. Let's, oh, God. Let's hope not. I, hope not. I didn't even think about that. I don't think, hey, okay, if good Alex point. had anything to do about helping her pack it and stuff, it they won't. would have checked it over. I right, because she would have checked. checked. He could have tampered with it before that. That's true. That's true. Damn. Damn. Before. Yeah. I didn't think about that. LM, he, now you got me worried. Well, why would he? Well, I was worried at the end of that. Working episode. supplies. Really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I felt bad for her because she's just out there. That's scary. <laughs> For a month. I mean, she's been out outside from the train before, but it was standing still. I will it's say, there. though, that obviously they took the supplies further up the train to drop it. But yeah. They took it back. yeah. So maybe right. when they took all the supplies up there, they would have inspected them. Oh, let's hope so. Hopefully. Hope so. Oh, I hope that's not the, the if they case had time LM. to do that. <laughs> maybe her man, her man friend, maybe. What's that guy's name? Ben. Uh, Ben. ben, yeah, I kind of like him. Usually, I don't I really care like him for the but, leading man. But, hype, but I like him. Some, there's still I don't like something him. freaky about Ben, though. I don't like they, Ben. They, I like Ben, but there's mm -hmm. something freaky because he's, he's not telling looking. something. He needs to wash up and shave or something. Well, but but, but there's does. something about him. <laughs> Remember about when him that, that radio that radio? Yes, uh, that, uh, I, I don't forgive that. That oh, radio. Right. Uh, somebody was on the uh, radio and, and he was trying to pretend that nobody was there. Yeah. And he started, he started doing the staticky thing. What was that about? Because See, he wanted, right. no, he wanted Alice to catch up with Snowpiercer because he kept saying, we're not going to survive without Alice. We need this. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why he was hiding it. But the fact mm -hmm. that he was doing that instead of just saying, hey, I think we should yeah. let it. Yeah. 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 Shady. 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 I never liked him from the get anyhow with her. I, I just didn't. Uh, ugh, he's just. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's all right. I think he's all right. Yeah, too. Like oh, and then I don't also, mind him. In, this, in this episode when she was like, yeah, um, uh, mothers, this is not a good mother. This is not what a good mother does. He's like, well, mother nature is coming back to life. So, yes, it is. I'm like, dude, ain't your daughter. <laughs> right. feelings. And I was like, oh. Mm. Yeah, but nah, I didn't mind that though. I didn't like it. <laughs> but I think it's because I don't like him. So that's why I was like, mm hmm you yeah, say that. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I feel yes, bad that for that last scene though. was good because they actually hugged and she said mom although she said mom earlier she did. yeah she, she did. did she did say mom earlier so this is about yeah. maybe the second time she yeah. said mom yeah that was good when she hugged her yeah that was that was, yeah, that was that was good was sweet. Mm -hmm. was that sweet. was sweet yeah i am and a I'm surprise warming <sighs> up to alex and i'm glad mm -hmm. because i didn't want to hate this little girl well but but yeah. they're showing a slight character arc for her too so yeah, as like it that. gets going then maybe she'll change mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. and i mean maybe she'll get an opportunity to go over to snowpiercer oh, and like actually have a conversation with layton 
She then she would see. Best right. Then Wilford's she would on his see way that over. Wilford is. No, right. but she, but what, what, uh, when she goes with Wilford, she's right there with him with razor blades and shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, because that he was gave so her, mean. Because he gave for her the so weird. her to do that. He gave her that mission. I mean, what did what did she actually think? She was going to overpower a dude? No, she wasn't going to slice it. She was going to go slice and that No, was it. she wouldn't even got that close. He would have decked her. Cuz he watches everything, but she don't know that though. She was yeah. she was following Wilford's instructions. Anyway, I don't think she'll be following that again. I don't think she will either. I really Mm-mm. I really don't. No. Know. But I hope she will get an opportunity to go over there and like uh, talk to Alice or something and then Leighton comes in and you know, she has a co- an, an actual conversation with him. That would be awesome without Wilford around. Right. I feel like it's mm-hmm. going to happen because Yeah. Wilford mm-hmm. on his way over. As soon as she, Melanie right. jumped off the plane, mm-hmm. oh, wait a the minute. Train, he probably already had his little suitcase ready. Okay, I'm moving did y'all on see, up. Do y'all watch the previews? Because I didn't, uh, I, I didn't see I anything. Think I see, saw the previews. Well, there's something. There's there. Uh, uh, obviously, Wilford had a relationship with the owner of the night car. Oh, we knew that. Well, but. She's arguing with him about something, and, but it, it went real quick. So I thought, and and sometimes hmm. I, I couldn't tell if it was going to be in next episode or just, you know, this season. You know how they yeah. show this season? Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, he's in the night car and she's fussing at him. But and remember, he's trying Paul, to we her. talked about this in the first episode that we did because when he told, he had that list of shit he wanted. Mm-hmm. And Leighton went to Audrey and said, I need this liquor. Yeah, that's her name. She, Audrey. Had it, yeah. she had it all the way there. It wasn't even open. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. already knew. And she told him, This yeah. is not what he really wants. Wilford really wants controlling yeah. all of us. And we yeah. were like, Okay, there's some yeah. history there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then last episode, when that was a weird scene, when, when Wilford came into that dining car. And Audrey was in the back of the crowd and she was looking at him with this evil eye. Then she left. And I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, yeah. what, what, what? Yeah, oh, that's, that's why. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to learn that backstory probably in the next episode or two. And then this episode. Yeah, that's yeah. why she left. Because and we thought she episode, left maybe after when, she saw Alex or something. But no, she left when because of Will. When Till and Roche went to the night car and she was acting all high and drunk or whatever the hell. Yeah. And he's like, what's wrong with her? <laughs> Until says she's cracking like all of us. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> We're like, oh, uh-huh, okay, that just builds on to the next Leia. Why? She's yeah, crazy. yeah, she's she does seem to be sort of sliding into some substance abuse. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, with Pike around, with Pike in business again, they gonna all be sliding in. <laughs> yeah, no, she's in the hard the drugs stuff. gonna be she flowing. Just, she ain't just smoking weed; she's doing something. Yeah, yeah. she's drinking yeah. liquor. Well, stuff. she's drinking liquor and stuff too. So you know, yeah, yeah. brown liquor. But and <laughs> evidently, there's still cocaine and stuff available because Leighton tells Pike. Only weed. Only yeah. Yeah, only he weed. says only weed. That's the only thing I'm I'm sanctioning. Yeah. But you know, Pike gonna get some other shit. Yeah, but that black yeah. lip shit that they were set that the uh the dude that oh, was yeah. doing the drawers was selling that chrono. Yeah. That um that mohawk dude was yeah yeah yeah. Anyway, that shit is the bad shit. So I yeah. think that's what Layton's talking about. Of course, yeah. but you know what's mm. gonna come over there. Oh, you know. Yeah, well, that's what you know good. it is. Hey, that'd be good. Get the, all his people addicted to Chrono, Chrono, whatever it's called, while they're getting their fruit. Mm. <laughs> and then he <laughs> take over the, the train. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to protect y'all from scurvy. Uh, yes. <laughs> let, me, let me give you Vitamin a little bit C. of this while you're getting your fruit. <laughs> <laughs> hell, all the tailies should have scurvy. I don't know what the hell that shit they was eating was, but they wasn't getting no fruit either. <laughs> right? Well, like they are now. Swerve. I'm sure, though. Yeah, yeah. They I'm are now. Are. See, so you know, <laughs> we haven't seen the uh, we haven't seen the botanist either. Till's girlfriend or ex girlfriend. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah for a minute, there, or did for a she minute. get? Did she get got? In the, uh, she didn't get God that I know she, of. She okay. was, 
she was conspiring with Melanie in season one, and that's the last I remember. Yeah, of mm-hmm. her because they that's she was true. Melanie was telling her to keep it a secret from her mm-hmm. wife or her girlfriend or whatever. Mm-hmm. I thought we saw her in episode one because mm-hmm. she was talking about they had snatched up half the crops and we oh. need to rash. Was that episode one or was that last? I don't remember what it was, I but I think yeah. that was last season. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. There's a couple people we haven't seen that I'm interested to see where yeah. they're at and what they're doing. Miles and Miles. Miles and I Miles. I know. I tell you, I'm sure he grew up. <laughs> well, so they're trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that was a pretty good episode. That was good. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Man. I liked it too. Good suspenseful ending. Well, yes. I was going to say a harrowing ending because yes. man, I feel bad for her. Even though I Me know too. she she knows what she's doing and stuff, but I just kept thinking, damn, that yeah. snow piercer going to be yeah. gone. And she's got Real to take far. it over to them supplies. Okay, but wait a minute, y'all. What do you think? I don't know if we talked about this. Do you think, do we think that that, that there's people, survivors out there? Besides I think so. I, I think so. These trains? Yeah. yeah, I think so. So she might Because we here? talked about the fact that we think there's some underground shit going on somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. she okay. might get to this. Yeah, bun- I like don't know what this underground, this bunker or whatever this thing is that she's trying to get to, and there could be people there. Could mm-hmm. be true. Are could you be. using this because joint? because it, it was my understanding that she wanted six of those boat sledder things mainly for the supplies and to keep her suit powered, but she also had a whole yeah. bunch of other supplies to power up the station because she said once right. she gets mm-hmm. there, yeah. she's got to have enough power to power up the station. So once she gets right. the station powered up, she'll have heat and, and lights and stuff. So that'd be fine. You know, she'll be okay. Then she could do her mm-hmm. data, you know, what and all that stuff. Already but, at the station? That's the question. Yeah, well, hey, it, to me, it be? if somebody is already at the station, wouldn't they be froze to death? Unless not, they got they some running. Not they, unless they, running. they could have a running. That's true. They don't have yeah. any detect. I don't know if that they could tell. Well, if somebody's already there, that would be good for her. Because uh, then she could tell them. Well. No, maybe. I think I think it'd be good, don't you think? No. Because she could tell them, hey, Snowpiercer are coming back in a month. Yeah. And? Oh, no, that's true. But, and, and we got food. We got fruit. Well, we got fruit, <laughs> food. We got cows. We got, we got everything. Oh, look, look. no. When there's an apocalypse, the good. people I think that are surviving. Good. Okay, if we have an apocalypse and it's, it's seven years <laughs> later and there's some people that have survived somewhere, <laughs> this is the dregs of the dregs of the dregs. So you're not going to immediately go announce your ass is there because they might be the bad dregs. We see it be. in The Walking Dead all the time. Where <laughs> the people that are like running the little community mm-hmm. aren't always the best of people. So if somebody is in that station already. That reminds me of that one Walking Dead episode where they come up on them and they grilling out in the front, remember? And we talking about where to be. Terminus. Meet. Terminus. Yeah, Terminus. Where yeah, to be. Like, uh, what, what they, they grilling. Cooking? Who they grilling. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> it was it was people so yeah, yeah. they had people stakes <laughs> well my point is this if that if someone is i think there are survivors out there but i think so not that there <laughs> might be anyone at this station but if she gets that station powered up mm-hmm. and there are Don't survivors know. they might want to yeah. come yeah mm-hmm. and take the station away from her or could be if somebody's already let's, living there let's hope that's not a, that a, would be an interesting element no though. i was gonna say let's hope that's not in the storyline because that'd be like a old west western type stuff you know what mm-hmm. i mean like here come the bad guys the bank robbers and stuff and they coming up on the ranch and they gonna kill everybody and take over the ranch so they can yeah. no no i hope or they maybe don't they want to get on the train to take over I hope the they don't go that route because that would just be ridiculous, be I think. It'd be interesting. No, I think it'd be Cause ridiculous. Because then Wilford ain't going to be able to just... First of all, train. they'd have to spend too much motherfucking time explaining how these people survive when ain't nobody supposed to be able to survive right. outside the train. Number right. one. It ain't supposed to be snowing either, but it's snowing. 
You right. Know? But that's only because it's in the atmosphere is warming it's up. up. Yeah. It ain't it's- on the ground. No, I hope they don't do that. Well, I, I kind of am, in, am interested. And if they do that, they're going to lose if, a lot of people because it's well, going to devolve into mm-hmm. cartoonish, cartoony shit. And I'll probably be out. <laughs> Why does it have to be cartoony? We don't know. Uh, I'm just saying. But, that's just my opinion. If there are survivors, uh, I feel like it would be interesting because now we have two different stories going into. All I got to say yeah. is go write your own, Sister Kay. Oh, look, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I know that's what everybody else, all these people that we talking about, they're right. probably like, well, go write your own show and have your own. I know it ain't that easy. I'm just saying it'd be interesting if they had survivors mm-hmm. that we could see. That's anyway. Like, yeah. All right. Anyway. There would be some kind of like cold mutants. Oh, Ooh. Lord. Let's hope not. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd be out. I, would too. I know, sister. I'm gonna be out. <laughs> yeah, too gross. Okay, too look. nasty. She don't hey, do zombies. We're just nah, making no. up uh-uh. shit. It ain't. Uh-huh. Don't. All they the probably out. ain't gonna do none of that shit that we just said. We just make it. That's shit. true. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's hope not. Mm-mm. All right, all Nation. Right. Um, we that is all for this episode. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Snowpiercer, like we did. If you have some thoughts about what's going to happen, is Wilford Alex's daddy? I mean, yeah. I'm still not convinced. Yeah. I'm not convinced about that. Yeah, don't is like somebody going to encounter down. survivors out there at the station? Let us know what you think. Send it to sisterspeak at gmail.com or leave a voicemail <laughs> at 972-755-1215 or go to speakpipe.com slash sisterspeak and leave a voicemail. You can find us on Twitter at underscore sister and our letters and also at sister speak cast. We are on Instagram at sister speak productions. Our Facebook page is sister speak podcast, f- facebook.com slash sister speak podcast. And we have a great private group called sister speak nation. That is a lot of fun. We are also on Patreon where normally you could only see the video on our Patreon page, but now we're letting y'all have this one. Um, but if you'd like to see what we offer over on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash sister speak and goody Rube, where can we find you? If we want to connect with you can find me being weird on Twitter at goody Rube, G O O D Y R U P E. And I, that's the only social media I do. Cause I I'm scared of Facebook and I don't understand the rest of it. <laughs> so okay. I'm only on Twitter. Okay. Twitter's fun. <laughs> Super. Yeah, it is fun. And as long as you get your mutes, get your mute buttons yes. working and your mute yes. words. Ain't that the truth? It can be a very pleasant experience. <laughs> yes. yes. I must not know. Well said. I, I'm well not said. on Twitter too much. Uh, we are All our right. website is also sisterspeakproductions.com and you can find us anywhere that we have podcast and now we are on youtube where you are able to see this great video oh. and um so just look up sister speak okay. on youtube to see our <laughs> in the flesh right. uh, and just look us up on youtube just type in sister speak and we will pop right up pop the up. brand continues yeah. to expand the brand <laughs> continues to expand yes. that's right it's out in the universe yeah. <laughs> all right that boop <laughs> that is it for now i am sister k i'm sister j i'm sister ellen <laughs> and i'm good <laughs> see y'all next time bye, bye. adios we out. Stay warm. Stay, yeah, warm. stay warm, y'all. We in Snowpiercer <laughs> land for real. <laughs>